<laughs> it looks like we might be abandoning boats here. Good morning, inflatable fans. I'm out with uh, Stitches, that's going to be your name, Stitches. and Sparky, yeah. which is my sister and brother in law. Well, we're going all the way to Liverpool that way, <laughs> so we could get there in time for lunch. We'll go to Liverpool for lunch. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a bit far. I think that's too far. Oh, and which canal was this? I can't remember. Uh, Need Liverpool, presumably. No. No. no, no. We can't remember what it's called. Oh, well, it's the Cauldron Hebble Navigation. It's the Cauldron Hebble Navigation, yeah. I said it was a cold one, you were something else. Yeah, bit of a clue. <laughs> bit of a clue on the signage. <laughs> I was partially right. Partially right. Cold. Right, let's get set up. That's what you need, Carl. That's where you need to live. Never mind a houseboat. I ha have a house actually on the river. Yeah, let's. I'm going to move into the lock keeper's cottage. <laughs> Unbelievably, there's a kingfisher flying across there. Never seen one before. Well, I've seen a blue flash, but they've just flown in front of us here. They're still there, flying around. You can see that. Yeah, yeah the yeah. flight. Today could be a very good day. Right. Okay, let's get these on the water. No, you need to really pull it, push it right back. Right. That's it. Right, okay. Push that down and blow. Yeah. When you go in with your feet on both sides, it's a lot easier. Right. Then kind of reach for the far side, yeah. bank, far side, yeah. and then just kind of... Push the bomb in. Yeah. And then just slide in. That's it, excellent. So yeah, this is going to be fun, because neither of them have done this before. So Stitches is just having a little splash around. Right, let's get Sparky in the water. That's it, and on the bank, and then just, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Hello. 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 <laughs> Are you coming out on the boat? Come on. <laughs> you come in. Let's go. <laughs> Good skills. Oh, we're on. How are you doing? Alright, okay. I've just started it again, so I just think I naturally twist one of my arms. Nudged. Oh, boat rolls, boat rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, stop splashing. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a nudge, get her into the bank. Lovely through this bit with that little bridge up there. Some nice reflections today. Been a while since we've seen some good reflections. But this is very still. Bridge 8, Lister Bridge. Nice reflections today. Bit of left hand paddle. That's it, pull yourself in. Are you the ice cream boat? <laughs> we wish. <laughs> well, you get a cup of coffee, Carl, will you? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Got that heron on the bank on the left there. Gonna take off any minute because he's gonna be really nervous about us. The walker's gonna come. But we're doing well actually to get this close. They normally fly off before now. Don't normally get that close to them. I wonder if it's a young one. I wonder if it's a young one.
Hello. Wow. There he goes. Well, that was a bit different. I don't normally get that close to him. I've been carved up here. Look at this. Bloody river hooligans. I don't know. She's on the water for 10 minutes and she's cocky as hell. <laughs> Bridge 7, Copley Lane. Well, that looks like an horrible place to live, doesn't it? Horrible. Yeah. Who'd want to live there? An horrible place to have your patio windows. <laughs> horrible. Won't want to live there. Oof. It's so beautifully still today. And it's actually just so nice. It's been a while actually since I've been out on the water and you can just glide. So that when you stop paddling, you still keep moving. Stop paddling. Oh, it's just nice. It's been quite windy the last few times I've been out. So it is quite nice to be out on a still one. Yeah. Oh, dead dove. In the water. Bye bye, little dove. The railway bridge here. Quite a big beast. Bridge six, Copley Viaduct. Mark's just giving the go plus the wriggle test. <laughs> I've no idea. Come on, you slags! <laughs> no, you slag! You slag! Looks like there's a little footbridge up ahead. Certainly won't get a car. Oh, I up the fanning around again. God, I tell you, you can't take these two buggers anywhere. There's me trying to do a nice sort of like scenic view video. <laughs> and I'm out with bloody Bodget and Scarpa. It's a very scenic view of my wife's head. <laughs> yeah, she looks good from behind. Oh God, that sounds wrong from her brother. <laughs> there we go, Copley Footbridge. be a mill down at the bottom there. Ah. No more. So the footbridge was so the workers from the village could access the mill. Got it. Look at these children. <laughs> anyway, seeing these boats side by side, it's prompted a question. Why did I buy so many? <laughs> <laughs> Why did I buy so many? It's pro well, he's prompted a question about whether I should buy another one. Um, seeing those boats side by side, those two kind of hybrids, I've been wondering, as far as I'm aware, there's only one other hybrid like those in the UK, and that's the Aquamarina Cascade. And I'm wondering whether to buy that one. It's the dearest out of the three, and I'm wondering whether to buy it so that I can actually compare all three and um yeah what do you think as the uh is that kind of something you'd be interested in seeing is some tests and comparisons between all three of those hybrid style sub kayaks let me know in the comments
what your thoughts are on that. This is quite a price, is the uh, the Aquamarina, so yeah, I kind of don't want to do it, and I kind of do want to do it, if you know what I mean. Bogarini, he's nicked her a paddle. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't know whether I should come out of the water with children anymore. <laughs> Just look how low this bank is here. It'd be so easy to get out here, wouldn't it? I see you, baby. Shaking that ass. Shaking that ass. <laughs> you slags! Currently going under Stern Mill Bridge. Bridge number four. It opens up nicely as you come out of there. And one brave one left. There he goes. Quite a nice area to live, isn't it? Lovely. It's a very leisurely paddle today. <laughs> very leisurely. I wonder if that's a natural spring. Anyway, this is bridge number three, Edward Road. Any idea what this has been on the left hand side, Sparky? No idea. I'm just in a mill. A mill? I mean, it yeah, was, possibly. Uh, oh. It'd be a lucky guess, but... I probably, suspect. yeah. <laughs> Especially with it having access to water. If you don't know where that's coming from, if anybody else knows, let me know in the comments. Again, up here. Got some lovely properties with lovely views. <laughs> just round the corner, he says. Kathy, just round the corner. Yeah, yeah. I did say you get long corners on waterways. Morning. You don't do coffee? Oh, that's a shame. I was going to say, there's two more bridges ahead in quick succession. And Mark did say there's two more bridges ahead. He didn't say they were in quick succession though, so I'm calling it a fail on that one. <laughs> Bridge two, Mirclough. Although it's highly likely I've pronounced that wrong for the area. More beautiful graffiti as usual. Up there, up there we've got some more crap places to live. <laughs> horrible, horrible place to live. Bridge number one, Walker. I do think the uh, the local teens could do a lot better job with the graffiti. They could get a bit more creative, couldn't they? Morning. Well, I can see a pipe bridge and two other bridges up ahead, so that's not bridge number one, that's a lie. <laughs> There's a pub up there. But didn't you say there's somewhere for coffee? I could, yeah, I can see that sign. Let's go to that sign and see what it says. So this one's called Chain Bridge. Quite an unusual structure underneath this one. The navigation. And look, more crap places to live. 
with crap views. So is this Sorby Bridge Canal Basin? Yeah. So it's Sorby Bridge Canal Basin. And for those of you who aren't aware, it's actually spelt Sour Beat, but it's pronounced Sorby. That looks good in the background through the mist. Oh, look at this, fresh fruit. Nice. What is that thing? <laughs> we can just leave the boats here. So we've just dragged the boats out of the water. Stitches is just heading over there to use the facilities and hopefully, all being well, to bring stuff back. We're going over there, aren't we? Are we? Well, you, you, can't, you can't walk back with three pints of beer. <laughs> it looks like we might be abandoning boats here. <laughs> Just done that thing, that nice chap's just popped up, said hello, he says, are you on YouTube? <laughs> Minor celebrity, I tell you. Minor celebrity. Ooh, coffee. <laughs> he, didn't say, he didn't say, oh, but you're on YouTube as well. <laughs> it's the, wrong, it's the wrong, wrong topic. Hello, where are we? Alexander's Sorby Bridge. Alexander's at Sorby Bridge. <laughs> Ooh. I'm already thinking that I'm... I really want I really want to do the um, yummy 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 big shout out to Alexander's <laughs> because they very kindly did us some sandwiches even though they've got a big barbecue thing going on today for the rush festival rush bearings, rush bearings. <laughs> I've, I've been corrected <laughs> looks like this is the uh, the goose and duck gathering area <laughs> Nice little uh, lock, Sowerby Bridge Lock, number one. And we're back on the water, and we're off. Pop to Alexander's if you're ever in this neck of the woods, they'll look after you there. That was a really nice little pit stop, that. They did look, they did look after us very well. They did indeed. And we've got that weird kind of bullet thing here, the Phoenix Twin. I have no idea what this is. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Strange thing, it looks like it's owned by the Canals and River Trust. I think now might be a good time to do a little bit of hyperlapsing, eh? Got any joy? Yeah. yeah? What have you caught? Pike. Pike. Not really edible then. <laughs> you having much joy? No, 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 no. I've seen a pike though. Yeah, the guy down there said he's caught a few pike. Uh, only about 200 yards or so. Really? Just past that bridge, yeah. Any joy? Not yet. Guy further down's been catching some pike. I did pike here yesterday. Did you? That's quite a good one though, isn't it? Yeah. We're actually not too far off now where we launched. It's been a really nice leisurely paddlers this one. You know what to do if you like my videos, you know if you like this video give it a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing on the channel, you know, hit that subscribe and smash the bell stuff. If you like it, if you don't, no point is there. Put both hands, that's it. Now push yourself up. That's it. You got it. Right, 
So from Stitches and Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> They're rowing already. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this.